Now, state planning can be hard for some people even, I guess, really even talk about. Yeah, we're going to get the conversation started for you today with someone who specializes in estate planning and has for over 35 years. Doing it for a long time. He knows his stuff. Attorney Jim Blazik, estate planning law group from Blazik and Greg. Good to see you, Jim. Thanks Hi. for stopping in. Very good Welcome to be back. back. We are talking estate planning today, but would you kind of... Uh, the umbrella over this. What is estate planning? What do, you, what, do you, what do we mean by this? Estate planning is the wise transfer of your property to your loved ones at time of death. That's what estate that's, planning is. That's very simple mm -hmm. in a nutshell. Uh, well, our motto is better planning made easy. Mm. So we're trying to help people do better planning and give them easy process to get it done because like you say, it is hard for a lot of people to start and it's an easy, easy thing to procrastinate. And one of the, one of the biggest problems or challenges we have is procrastination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't really know <laughs> when that day is going to come. When we need We're to cash that have, estate plan right, in. Right, we would have had a plan in place. Um, but this is something that, that, that maybe a lot of people look at their parents or at their grandparents as models for how to do it. But boy, this has changed quite a mm -hmm. bit, hasn't it? It has changed tremendously. My parents would have done a simple will. My grandparents would have done a simple will. But nowadays, there are more effective strategies to save money and protect property. You see, old style planning was all about the transfer of property. Who does my property go to when I pass away? Mm -hmm. Better planning, I should say modern planning, does that but goes on to save money and more importantly, maybe most importantly, protect property. Mm -hmm. I think you bring up a good point because I think a lot of people say I have a will, right? Mm -hmm. That's my estate plan, but that's not necessarily the same thing. How many people would you say in your estimation have what you would consider an estate plan? Well, statistically in America, most people do not even have a simple will. But the tragedy of planning is that so many times people have done a will and they think they've done effective planning. Uh -huh. yeah. Wills typically are all about the transfer of property. But so often wills do not protect property from the things that may happen downstream. You know, what would happen if I die and my wife remarries? Uh -huh. Or what happens if my child gets a divorce? Or what happens to my child's, in, my child's inheritance should they pass away? Mm -hmm. You see, simple wills don't answer those issues, don't answer those questions. It's, That's why better planning is needed. Well, what if your kids aren't getting along? You don't want the kids to be fighting over your assets either. And, and that's sort of what you can expect today. But what you're saying is my grand, where my grandmother lived and this house had been in our family forever. And it was so, I mean, we cherished it. And then another relative ended mm -hmm. up with it. And then they got married and divorced. And now we're all sort of freaking it, out right. like, what is going to happen to one of the most sacred places for us on this earth with all of these memories? We don't, we don't know. And you sort of feel like it's left up to chance because what she did was say, okay, so-and-so gets the house, so-and-so gets the dresser, so-and-so gets my artwork. I mean, she was just divvying it up, but the protection part of this, what you're speaking to, is resonating for me. Well, Mary, that's so important. We see so many clients with what I would call heirloom assets, mm -hmm. particularly farm clients. We do a lot of ag planning. A lot of our clients are farm families, both in Iowa and Nebraska, but they have heirloom assets that it would be a tragedy for that to get outside the family. Mm -hmm. So these protective strategies are so important in current modern day estate planning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a law firm, you're a lawyer, and that's, this, this is something that you guys specialize in. Is that what makes your firm unique from other mm -hmm. firms out there? We do devote our entire practice to estate planning, but then our process is unique also. For example, we don't charge clients for phone calls. We assign all of our trust clients their own paralegal so that anytime they buy something new, they call their paralegal, it's transferred to their trust, there's no charge for that. We don't charge to retitle assets both for clients' current assets or what they buy in the future. Every client receives their own paralegal, they can call any time. And we also give our clients legal updates. Anytime the tax law would change mm. in a way that would affect their plan, mm -hmm. we mail them notice. Mm -hmm. And that just happened not long ago. 2013, there was a big change. And your clients knew about it. Well, <laughs> well you everybody told else you, you is kind of like... Yeah. Well, we sent out thousands you know. of letters to our clients advising them of the possibility now to do better planning. In 2013, everything changed, especially for married couples. And people that did their planning before 2013, uh, in many occasions, most occasions, it can be made a lot better now because of these laws that took effect in 2013. Well, these new laws have to throw some curveballs into what you do. Is that the biggest challenge as a planning attorney <coughs> is staying up to date on all the law changes? Well, the laws do change, but also our goals change as our seasons of life change. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes a young person they think, well, I'm too young to plan. I've got plenty of time to do this. I'll put it off. I'll mm -hmm. procrastinate. Right, right. 
Uh, sometimes an older person, they get a little, you know, a little gray hair and they think, you know, who's going to get my property when I pass away? And then a little bit older, they think, jeepers, how do I protect these assets? Mm -hmm. How do I make sure that heirloom assets stay in my yes. family? And then later on, you know, we think, how do I make sure a nursing home doesn't get all my money? Mm -hmm. And so the seasons of life change, the yeah. laws change, and so that's why we want clients to be able to call without fear of getting a bill for a phone call. If you, if you summed it up, like the most significant part of your job is what? To listen. Mm. You know, the most important thing for an estate planning attorney is to listen to a client's goals. Uh, better planning starts with being a better consumer. Being a better consumer is all about asking the right question. Everybody should ask, their, should ask their attorney, what does my plan do for me and how does my law firm treat me? Yeah, you can't put a good plan into place unless you know exactly what the intentions are for your client. Mm -hmm. And I know there's other people out there that have a lot of questions too. And so that's why you have these, so you got several planning workshops that are coming yeah. up. And that's another reason why we brought you in today to talk about this because we recently visited with you about these mm -hmm. planning workshops. Who should come to these? People should come to these planning workshops that have questions. <laughs> uh, because at these workshops, we do answer mm -hmm. questions. They're interactive. They last about an hour and a half, and we make sure that we ask or that we answer as many questions mm -hmm. as possible that the audience would have. So they're a lot of fun. Bring your kids. Like if you're older and you've got adult kids, I think it would be smart to bring them along I so agree. that you're all able to ask questions together. And, and, and these it's are nice free? to have extra sets of ears. Free of charge. Yeah. These are free. Of course, yes. Anytime I can bend the ear of an attorney for free, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> well, if you'd like to learn more about Blazik and Greg, the website is Blazik and Greg. Dot com, and then the phone number for any questions at all, and maybe it's about the workshops or something else we covered this morning, it's 402-496-3432. Uh, good information today, Jim. And Thank you so much. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, you as well. He's not wearing any green, but we don't want to pinch <laughs> our guests, so I'm trying really hard to be nice to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, the FBI World Cup Finals.